Good morning from Sam Reap. This week has been a little crazy. I'm just around the corner from our Airbnb, which is amazing. Are really so nice. <laughs> the first four days in CM Reap, I was out cold. I had the absolute worst stomach virus ever. Oh man, it was pretty bad. So we took it easy. We stayed in our Airbnb, made friends with our Airbnb host, and just hung out until I recovered. Luckily in CM Reap, you do not need to see a doctor before you can get an antibiotic. So I did end up going to a local pharmacy. He gave me an over-the-counter antibiotic and in no time, I'm back to my old self. So that's where we are today. I'm just taking a walk around our neighborhood and this is the first time I've gotten out to explore a little bit. It's really awesome. Like look at this field right behind me. So at first, Cambodia threw me for a loop. Just, it caught me a little off guard because the streets, the streets are unpaved. There's a lot of dirt laying around. People just toss their trash into trash piles on the side of the road. That's very different. And you will occasionally see, well, just the neighborhood cow strolling down your street. Hi, buddy. He's coming for me. I'm gonna move out of your way. I think I'm gonna give him a little bit of room. I got pretty adventurous getting that shot right there. <laughs> Very different. But it's their way of life. So I have to remind myself that every place is gonna be a little bit different and that's what makes these places so cool. So I'm just strolling around our neighborhood and seeing what I can find. Uh, it's very local. We, we intentionally chose to stay outside of the city um, just for the experience. And because we stay places a little bit longer periods of time, it does give you quite a better feel of what it's like actually living here. For instance, our house is right next door to our Airbnb host and it's all in the same lot together. So there's one great big fence and it's like your neighbors. Hello. Do you hear that little kid say hello? Hello. Hi, how are you? Very good. Do you want to say hello for the camera? Hello. How are you? Oh, good job. And that's what I was talking about when I said people just throw their trash over. <laughs> I thought that little kid was coming to say hi to me. Nah, just throwing out the trash. So at first, it's a little unsettling because your natural instinct is to pick up the garbage, but it's just the way of living here. After a week of walking around, seeing trash on the ground, you just kind of get used to it. Anyhow, there's a lot of unfinished lots like this one. So I don't know if they're starting to build something here or if it's somebody's property or what, but that's how a lot of the land looks. That's all just on the side of the building. Just growing right up. There's a lot of lizards. For the last three months in Vietnam, Thailand, and now Cambodia, we have made quite good friends with all the little local geckos. And there are a lot of them. Look at his little tail, I think so. He's just a tiny guy. Ooh, oh! <laughs> He's coming in there towards you. That guy did not make it. A lot of bugs, a lot of mosquitoes, a lot of lizards. One of our first days out in our tuk tuk, we were riding along. We didn't make it 15 feet around the corner, and I felt something in my hair. So I turned around and said, Zach, I think something's in my hair. And I looked at him, and his eyes were like, 
right? Everybody, wide-eyed, mouths open. What the hell is in my hair? He said it was a grasshopper, like this, like this. In the back of my head. So there's a lot of bugs here and the bugs are big. Mr. Vanny, say hello. Hello. we're out of the city a little bit means we need transportation to get everywhere we need to go. We've been using a local tuk-tuk driver. His name is Mr. Vanny and he's fantastic. He's so nice. The kids love him. They give him a big hug every time they see him. So he's been awesome. He takes us everywhere we need to go. Oh. <laughs> the first couple days when I felt really sick I would sit out on our front porch and watch the little local men climb into the pond just to do some fishing, just catching dinner for the evening. I mean, they get in the pond up to their knees and just start fishing. That little guy is trying to catch him a fish. Right across the street is this great big open field, which I originally thought, oh, that'll be so fun for the kids to just run around in, right? Nothing there, no houses, no land, no monuments, no temples, just cow until our Airbnb host said, eh, we don't let our kids play there. There's a lot of poisonous bugs. A lot of poisonous bugs. Okay, so we're staying in our own Airbnb. Thank you very much. I think the thing I love the most so far is that our Airbnb hosts are amazing. And when it comes to a time like dinner, all the family comes over. They have cousins, they have nephews, they have uncles, they have tuk-tuk drivers who are friends. Everybody gathers around a table. They have big family-style dinners. I love that. And so far, we've been lucky enough to be included in two of those. So Cambodia has been a little iffy-iffy. We were in Phnom Penh for a week, and it just was, it was good, but it just did not compare to Thailand. It did not compare to Chiang Mai. So we had to reset our expectations, but not anymore. We have been in Siem Reap for a few days now, but we have barely been able to film anything because we have the best Airbnb hosts ever. They've invited us to dinner now for the second time. Our kids play with their kids every single day, and we just feel weird pulling out the camera. So we're gonna try and take a few shots right now, but it has just been a whole nother experience. CM Reap is going fantastic. Let's go. I just wanted to introduce you to our Airbnb host and their lovely family. We're sitting down to enjoy dinner with them tonight. Ready? Awesome. Hello. 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 Here's Colin and Dad. Everything is so good. <laughs> And all the kids are playing. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what we're having for dinner. <laughs> Would you like to say hello? And say hello. On the video? Hello. <laughs> Very spicy. <laughs> Colin is trying all kinds of new food tonight. <laughs> now he's tasting a jackfruit seed. Like you Here he goes. Bite it and then, and then take the seed off. <laughs> yep. And then take the uh, wrapping off. Yep. Yeah. Oh. We'll stand to the side. Yeah, tastes That's like a potato. very plain and yeah. like a potato. Yeah. Really good. Really good? Awesome. I want to try the fruit. No, somebody, you're my favorite. I'm very good. He's going in for seconds. Yeah. My nose Sack. is running right here. Sack. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, that is so good. Mm. Better than me. 
Oh, it's spicy. It's real spicy. <laughs> yeah, that's so good though. So as far as like living in the moment, Cambodia is proving to be like pretty awesome so far. But we're having a really great time. We've met such wonderful people so far. Our kids have already made friends with our neighbors. Well, hello. Hi. What are you doing? Putting on makeup. Are you putting on makeup? She's doing yeah. her makeup. Are you allowed to put makeup on? Yeah. Okay. Hello, Miss Emily. Hi. When I'm looking through Airbnbs and reading the reviews, I look for those kind of local experiences that you just can't find staying in a hotel sometimes. So it often pays off staying a little bit outside of the city to get a feel for what everyday life feels like. And we are definitely getting that here in Cambodia. We do have a few things that we want to do. We're going to buy the three day temple pass and spend all day for three whole days exploring nothing but temples. I am too excited about that. There's also a local circus called the Fair Circus, which supports uh, the youth of Cambodia. And I've heard it's excellent. And what else is on the list? Oh, Pub Street, Bugs, that's not on my list. Our Airbnb host runs um, his parents' hotel. So we're gonna take the kids to the hotel swimming one evening. We're gonna eat at their Mexican restaurant to support him and his business a little bit. And I think just take the rest of the time kind of slowly enjoying Cambodia. I'm feeling better. We got a lot of stuff on our to-do list, so I'm so excited to explore this city. See you next time.